Hey guys, I'm 32 and female, and I live in an apartment that's unfortunately located right underneath an older married couple in their 40s, who seem to have embraced the party lifestyle. They throw these loud, boisterous parties multiple times a week, usually on the weekdays. The floors and walls are super thin, and I can hear everything. I've tried confronting them before, explaining how their behavior is disruptive. Not only to me, but also to other tenants in the building. Every time I do, they just shrug it off, saying they have friends in town they haven't seen in a while, or they simply weren't being that loud, but let's face it, they are that loud. I've even heard complaints from other neighbors, and I've honestly reached my wit's end. They're in their 40s, and I cannot believe that they're still living this way. Don't they realize that they're keeping people awake at ungodly hours? Some nights, I can even hear them arguing amongst themselves, and it's clear that alcohol is often involved. I've thought about moving, believe me, but it's just not feasible. Between the time and cost, I'm stuck here, where I'm at. Plus, I've already paid three months of rent in advance, so leaving would mean losing a significant chunk of the money. I've tried earplugs, playing white noise machines, even sleeping on the couch in the living room, but nothing seems to help. Their noise is absolutely relentless, and I've started to lose sleep over it. Now, I'm wondering, if I should escalate this drama? Maybe speak to the building management or even get the police involved. I hate the thought of causing trouble. But I also think it's totally unfair that they get to disrupt everyone's lives like this. So I'm torn. Am I the a-hole for wanting to take further action against my neighbors? I feel like I'm being reasonable, but I also worry that I might be overreacting. I know living in an apartment means dealing with noise to some extent, but this is beyond normal. I'll keep an eye on the comments and respond as best as I can. Thanks for listening. I'll make sure to post an update when there's any progress. What's up, everybody? Mr. Redito here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. There's multiple updates for this story, but let me know in the comment section if you've ever had a nightmare neighbor. Let me know the story about it. Update number one. Hello again. I can't believe it's been a month since I've posted about the problems I've been having with my upstairs neighbor. I wish I could tell you that things have improved, but they've gotten worse. After reading your comments, I've decided to avoid getting the police involved and instead went to the building's management to file a complaint. I thought that maybe having the management intervene would be a more diplomatic approach. As I was speaking with management, I noticed a woman who was my upstairs neighbor walking loudly to the lobby with a new young guy. Her husband was nowhere to be found and she was flaunting herself all over him and he had his arm wrapped around her and I could not help but feel a strange sense of unease as they made their way to the elevator and they went upstairs. I pointed her out to the management and explained that she was one of the neighbors causing the disturbance. They assured me that they would look into it, but their lack of urgency made me feel helpless. It was clear that they weren't going to do anything immediately. So I returned to my apartment hoping for some peace only to be met with an unmistakable sound of moaning coming from the upstairs. My stomach turned as I realized exactly what was happening. I could not believe they were being so loud and careless. The walls were practically vibrating with sound, and I felt my face turning red with fury. I, I was angry, and I started to record it. I recorded all the sounds. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but I just wanted evidence of their blatant disrespect for others. I even went upstairs and stood outside their door, recording the closed door with all the moaning coming from behind it. I felt a mixture of disgust and anger, but hey, I needed the evidence. Back in my apartment, I just turned up the TV as loud as I could to block the sound, and my mind was racing. I mean, this lasted for like an hour. I knew now that I had evidence of her having an affair on her boyfriend, and the thought of revenge started to creep into my mind. Could I use this against them? Should I? My heart was pounding, and my conscience was torn. 
I could not shake the image of her flaunting herself with that new guy. That smug look on her face as they entered the elevator. The way that she treated me when I complained about all the noise. All of it was building up inside of me, and I don't know. I felt like I was reaching my breaking point. I'm still trying to figure out what to do. My mind, it's whirlwinding back and forth, and I'm really not sure what's right or wrong anymore. All I know is that I cannot continue living like this, constantly disrupted by the inconsiderate behavior. Well, I'll keep you posted. But for now, I just need to find a way to calm down and think things through, without letting the anger get the best of me. Let me know if you have any advice, or maybe you've dealt with neighbors like this before. Update number two. Hey guys, it's me. I'm back again with yet another update, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. The situation with my upstairs neighbor has escalated beyond anything I could have imagined, and I'm not sure how to feel about it. After showing the building's management the evidence I recorded, I was completely taken back by their response. They told me that it was not appropriate for me to record my neighbor like that without her permission. Can you believe that? I was the one suffering from the noise, and now I was being made to feel like I was in the wrong. I was appalled, to be honest with you, and a lot of the comments from my last post were actually saying the same thing. How could I record such an intimate moment? Guys, I was in my own room! Ah, it was clear that they were not taking me very serious. I knew I had to take matters into my own hands. So, what do I do? I had the evidence, and I could not just let them continue to disrupt our entire building without consequences. The idea of showing the evidence to the husband kept gnawing at me, and I wrestled with it for days, knowing that it could cause serious turmoil, but also feeling like it was the only way to get a bit of justice. So, one day I saw the wife leaving by herself, and something just, I don't know, came over me. I snapped. It was time. My heart pounding as I rushed upstairs and knocked on the door, praying that the husband was there. He answered and his face was already weary, probably expecting another complaint to come from my mouth. I could see the annoyance in his eyes, but I did not let it deter me. I started to explain absolutely everything to him. I mean, everything. And then I showed him the evidence of his wife moaning behind the door on a day he was out of town. Well, he must have recognized those moans, because his face turned a cherry red with anger and his eyes wide, filled with a mix of shock and rage. I could see him visibly trembling. The realization hitting him like a ton of bricks, and he asked me to forward that video to him. His voice barely above a whisper and thanked me with a look I could not quite decipher. I returned to my apartment with my mind still reeling from what I've just done. I knew I had to set something in motion. Well... But I had no idea how explosive it was going to be, guys, prepare yourself. The whole night, I could hear arguments blowing up like never before. There were cries, pleas of forgiveness, begging, heavy sobs, <laughs> and a shout that sent chills down my spine. It was so loud that the management actually had to intervene, thinking it was a domestic violence situation. And now... I'm feeling a strange mixture of satisfaction and guilt. On one hand, uh, they have been disturbing our entire building for months, and now they're finally facing a bit of consequences. And On the other hand, I played a significant role in unraveling their relationship. I can still hear the echoes of their arguments right inside my mind. Well, I'm left wondering, did I do the right thing? <sighs> Let me know, guys, what you would have done. The fallout from this is far from over, though. And I'm bracing myself for what comes next. Thank you for listening. I'll keep you updated if anything else happens. Update number three. Guys, this probably is my final update. We'll see. Uh, about the situation with my neighbors upstairs, right? I'm still processing everything that's happened. Well, I'm trying to make sense of it. After I made the husband aware of the affair, things moved incredibly fast. The, they quickly got a divorce, and within the same week, they had both moved out of the apartment upstairs. I could not believe how quickly it all unfolded. The speed at which their lives have unraveled was shocking and a bit sobering. 
A new resident moved into the apartment above, and so far, they have not given me any problems with noises. It's peace and quiet that I've ignored Ugh, for so long. Those banging sounds and yelling, it's gone. It's finally been restored with peace. The idea of moving, which I've been weighing heavily on my mind, has faded away. I've started to enjoy my apartment more, and now that the constant disturbances are gone, I can't shake this nagging feeling that I might be the a-hole in this situation. I mean, I really did cause a divorce, and there's not much to get around that, but hey, at the same time, I wasn't the one making so much noise disturbing me, and I was not the one cheating. But still, was what I did right. My primary goal was to put an end to the relentless noise that was making my life miserable, unable to work, but my revenge scheme, born out of desperation and frustration, led to the outcome I wanted, but a tremendous cost for them. <laughs> I think back to the husband's face when I showed him the evidence. It was the look in his eyes, and his world just crumbled before him. I remember the sounds of their final heart-wrenching argument and the cries of betrayal and pain. I cannot help but wonder if I went a bit too far... Yes, they were inconsiderate and disruptive, and yes, they ignored my pleas and showed no regard for the neighbors, but did they deserve to have their lives turned absolutely inside out like this? Well, I really don't regret what I did. I feel justified in my actions, considering everything they put me through after residence, though. But I also recognize that I played a significant role in tearing them apart. Let me know what you guys think, so... I was right to take the matters in my own hands, right? Wow. Thank you for listening to me. I'm pretty sure this is the last update, but whatever the verdict, I know I'll carry the lessons from this experience with me for the rest of my days. Update number four. Hey guys, I thought that that would be the final update to be honest with you, but I have to tell you something. It's been about, I don't know, four or five months since what went down went down, and guys, remember that lady upstairs that was making all the noise and cheating on her boyfriend? You will not believe where I saw her. I was walking down the street to go to my favorite taco shop. I love this little authentic hole in the wall. I go there almost every day, but this day was a little different. As I was walking, I have to go by this alleyway that's known to be a lot of homeless people in our area. And guess who I saw right there on the corner with a cup of change begging people as they go by? That's right, that loud mouth cheating upstairs neighbor. And she looked at me. She didn't even recognize me and she asked me for some change. Well, you know what I did? I reached into my pocket and I gave her some change. Because I did feel bad that her life has spiraled out of control in the last few months to land her homeless. It's pretty obvious that her boyfriend was the breadwinner and he was making most of the money. And it looks like through this whole ordeal, her boyfriend, the one that she was cheating on with, well, he didn't want to stick with her and so he dumped her butt and her little affair boyfriend boy toy wasn't going to take her in either. So she's homeless, I'm assuming with no job and begging for change. So now with this realization, I'm really starting to wonder, was I the a-hole? In my head, it says yes, but at the same time, I can't help but think you were not the one cheating. And if they were a bit more considerate of the noise, it never would have spiraled this far. Anyways, that's going to be the final update. I just had to stop on by and let you know exactly how I feel. Thank you guys for listening. I'll catch you later. Let's read some comments. Comment number one says, Oh my gosh, I've been in a very similar situation with noisy neighbors, and I can totally feel your pain. Thankfully, my building management was more responsible and took care of the situation right away. Honestly, I don't think you're the a-hole at all. You were driven to this edge and no one else was helping you. Sometimes you've got to take matters into your own hands and you simply did what was needed to be done. Comment number two. I'm torn on this one. Yeah, the upstairs neighbor was rude and their behavior was unacceptable. However, teasing their marriage and just tearing it apart was not right either. Maybe you should have confronted the wife first about the affair privately. Before going to the husband, it might have given her a chance to come clean herself. So in my opinion, 
everybody sucks here. So, yeah. Common three. You're commendable for being so brave and showing the husband the truth behind the marriage. Those neighbors deserve to face the consequences of their actions. You are not just seeking revenge, but standing up for what is right. You're definitely not the a-hole. You're an unsung hero in this situation. Guys, that is the comment that got a lot of attention and the most people agreed with in the original post. Let me know your thoughts. Here's update or comment number four. I'm glad to see that the husband showed you some appreciation for making him aware of the affair. No one should have to live their lives being lied to by the person that they're married to and apparently love. While it's painful situation, it's better to know the truth than to live with a lie. You did the right thing and I hope you can find peace. And the final comment before we hop into your thoughts on it. I really think that you should have just gone to the police. With a noise complaint, they would have been able to handle the situation way better than the management or yourself. What you did exposing the affair was an invasion of their privacy and a step too far. But I see, oh, you are the a-hole here. There were other ways to handle this and you chose the one that caused the most damage. That's another hot topic, guys. A lot of people are saying, I don't agree with that. If anything, everyone sucks here. OP is not solely the a-hole. I want to know your thoughts about that opinion, so drop it down below in the comments section. If you guys are new to the channel, my name's Mr. Redito. I narrate stories every day, and this is Mr. Redito's Revenge, where every story has some sort of karma or revenge attached to it. Once again, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and remember, it's cool to be kind. See ya!